Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Siobhan Foster here, who has a Laguna Woods update, and we're going to talk about technology. Well, welcome. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Lisa? Good, and I know you are happy because the Rams won. Yes, I like the Rams. <laughs> yes, you do. Tell us the name of your dog. Uh, McVay. He's Mc named after Coach McVay, the and Rams you, head coach. And you told us beforehand what happened to him? He might have to change his name if the Rams lost. Oh, that is so sad. But thank <laughs> goodness he gets to keep his name. <laughs> All right, so you've got a, a technology modernization plan that I know you had mentioned before. Yes. And so now we're going to sort of run through what the idea is. Sure, I'm just going to give a high-level overview and That's go from there. Okay, so good. on Friday, there was a special open meeting or corporate members meeting at the Golden Rain Foundation. Mm -hmm. And the members at that meeting approved a cloud-based enterprise resource planning system and approved up to $4 million in capital expenditure allocation over two and a half years. Okay. The product selected is Microsoft Dynamics 365. Mm -hmm. I do want to mention, though, that this is a planned project. It's included in the 30-year capital plan, and it has been reserved for. There will be no assessment increase as a result of the project. Okay, great, great. An ERP system refers to software that organizations use to manage their day-to-day -day activities. It covers processes such as accounting, human resources, and more. Mm -hmm. And this is a diagram on the screen that shows that. Uh, in our case, it's like keeping our current brain with all its knowledge and experience while getting a brand new body to carry it into the future. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> Where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the need for this uh, came over the years. Software programs were purchased, inherited from PCM, and developed in-house by programmers. Unfortunately, none of them were designed to work together, so they were patched together and continued to work with a great deal of assistance from our IT team. Mm -hmm. And also, we were recently notified that our financial system is going to become obsolete and become unsupported at the end of the year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So the goal was to find a technology tool that improves data security and service levels, mm -hmm. optimizes processes, increases collaboration and employee satisfaction, which leads to improved performance. Mm-hmm, 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 okay. So the selected system, again, is Microsoft Dynamics 365. Mm -hmm. This is an excellent cloud-based ERP system. It's a stable, long-term company. And the system is modular, which means you buy what you need. And it has unlimited customizations. Oh, good. It integrates well with third-party software. There's an existing migration path. There's end-user familiarity. Um, it's intuitive, user-friendly in terms mm -hmm. of the interface. Mm -hmm. And we have high confidence in the project team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, just I know that we have talked before about our malware incident that we had, and unfortunately, you know, it was, it was just one of those things, and we weren't the only ones that were hit. So I imagine that by going to this type of cloud-based services, there is more security, and, and uh, I'm sure you've been assured of that. Yes, absolutely. That's a major consideration. Great. Great. Well, good, because uh, I don't want to lose anything. <laughs> we don't want to lose anything, that's for sure. Now, you know, who heads this up? Did you say it was It's Chuck or? Uh, okay, actually, it's an eight-member okay. committee. It's called the ITAC Committee. And we want to thank the committee members that are shown on the board in front of you. Okay. They are spearheading the project. They've met weekly for months, contributing wow. more than 700 hours so wow. far. The members possess more than 350 years of combined experience in IT, wow. executive leadership, business management, and accounting. So it's an incredibly well-schooled team that has come together to help spearhead this project. And they represent GRF and two of the three mutuals, as well as village management services. Mm -hmm. And of course, Chuck Holland is a central piece of that committee, right. to answer your question. Wow, I didn't realize there were so many people behind the scenes. And there's Sue Margolis, who I haven't seen in a while. So that's great. I mean, it's nice to know that you know, they all have varying backgrounds. And like you said, they all came together to kind of give their advice. And that's really great. Yeah, so you'll that's be great. hearing much more about this okay. as it progresses. But again, the first step was getting project approval. And that happened on Friday. Perfect. And, and this is supposed to take place over the next several months? Uh, yes, it will. It'll be a phased project beginning okay. yeah, as soon as possible. Perfect. All right. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much for the overview. I look forward to hearing more about it. You're welcome. All right. And if you have any questions about what we've just discussed, you can always 
email Siobhan at generalmanager at vmsinc.org. We'll be right back. <laughs>